Hi. In this video, you see one of our new features, the ability for you to manage your PI to CPI migrations. So previously we just had one off migrations, but now we have tried to make it easier for you to manage the full process. And here you see our first version of this uh, PI to CPI migration cockpit. So here you can see a list of all your ICOs and you would then be able to handle the migration process from here um, and this is just the first release we will be adding more information that's relevant for the migration export etc so you have one cockpit to manage your full pi to, uh, cpi migration process good so what do we have right now so here we have uh, the number of iflows i've just selected from one system and what i can do now is i can take this one and I already migrated, but I want to create a new one of it, which find a name for it. We select migrate. We can preview what the iFlow would look like. We have selected our um, mapping of communication channels and we press migrate. And this will then migrate the artifacts. And now we have an iFlow that has been migrated. And there was one of the, the notifications we got from it was that we needed to go in edit this uh, setting here here we'll just add the name of the iflow we'll save as a version click ok and we will deploy it so now if we go back to the overview we'll be able to see that we have created a new link here uh, but since we have made a new version, one of the features we also added is the ability to, to synchronize the systems involved in this. And we have one here that we want to synchronize where all the artifacts on the iFill is placed in. So now the synchronization is done. And what we can do now is we have already created test cases. We can migrate these test cases. So we can select one or more here. We'll just select one migrate to CPI flow. We create a new test suite for this. So we create a new one. It already knows what the artifacts are for this how to map the communication channels. We have now created the test case for this um, iFlow and we can open this test case we created here. We can see the in and the outgoing messages here and now we just have to press run on our system and we will need the license for this object. We will also take the DevOps once we are added. And now we can press run on again. And this will then trigger messages into the iFlow. And once these has been processed, you would be able to see the results and it should come on shortly. So we can see there's one result here. There's a diff. It's just something we can easily ignore. And let's try to compare all of these objects again. So now we can see our test case went successfully and everything was processed correctly. So now we've performed a migration. We have done the testing. And next up is we want to take this into the productive setup. And what we do there is go here. We will add it to a, a ticket. Ticket and we will select our landscape. Um, we'll take this one first. First to QA where we have our virtual landscapes, we can start the transport. And obviously here we could also add our test cases if we wanted to. Now we have an option to send it to approval. And one of the things here, we have configuration of the artifacts along here. And now it is, we can see, for instance, the FTP host has been replaced and all of the different artifacts that we want here. And we just simply press approve as an approver and import and this will then import the specific iflow into the qa system and then we do the same thing from qa to production and let me show you what that would then look like 
Now you can see that the iFlow has been imported into production. And this is a good view of the peer to CPI migration overview that you can see everything that's going on in your system. And obviously this is the first attempt to build this and we can add a lot more features to streamline the migration process. So you both can create assessments and understand what is going on with the migration uh, effort. So you have one view of the process. You would be able to export this as uh, Excel and be able to understand how far you are in the migration process, complications, etc. So I hope you want to see more about this. Go to figaf.com and learn more about the migration tool. Thank you.